Now I want you to get down on your hands and knees. His name is Jack Wrangler. I'm sort of in the entertainment business. The most beautiful blonde you've ever seen in your life, and then, oh my God, look what he's doing. Jack Wrangler has starred in 85 X-rated films. He was really one of the ultimate porn stars of all time. I'll never forget that scene. It really turned me on. A creature of the 70s, a creation of the 70s. Nobody does it better than Jack Wrangler. You couldn't open up a magazine without seeing him. He was everywhere. It's his hottest role ever. Jack was a reason to go see a movie. Slow and sexy. And what's a nice boy like this doing in a profession like that? I worked very hard to become Jack Wrangler. The primary vibe that Wrangler gave off in his films was very, very convincing lust. I have got to get laid. He had this incredible virility. Erection ability, is that a word? It is now. Oh, yeah, man. He might have smoked a cigarette like this. I can see myself at this bar. Jack Wrangler's coming on stage, and I was in the perfect spot. He came to me and had me take his boots off. And I held on to that boot forever until he was done. You gotta call me Jack. It was unheard of. A gay porn star was going to be a leading man in adult movies with women. Now what? Singer-actress Margaret Whiting has been a recording star for many years. She lives with actor Jack Wrangler. There was general sort of disbelief. Whoa, that's the odd couple defined. Jack Wrangler has an amazing trajectory. You couldn't make this shit up. That's for sure. I was in the business of making porn for eight or nine years. Well, uh, and yet now, 30 years later, whenever I do anything, if I write the libretto to a ballet, I did that. Or create a musical for Broadway or tour. No matter what I do, always in the papers, it will say Jack Wrangler, porn star. Now, it's been 30 years, and believe me, I wasn't that good. It will follow me the rest of my life. Getting it up, getting it on, and getting it off. Man, it's beautiful. It's been a hell of a ride.